is crazy windy. We're in Wyoming. We're on our way from Lavelle. We had left uh, Red Lodge this morning at uh, about 8.30. And so we just passed Lavelle and the mountains in front of us are our next pass that we got to do. But yeah, the wind has kicked up, come out of, well, I can't say come out of nowhere because it's wide open down here, so. Yep. Notice how calm it is on this side of the break, though, compared to over here. Yep. She's pretty choppy here on the north side of us. Yep. Kind of neat formations in some of these hills. That is pretty cool, eh? Yeah. There must be a lot of iron in these mountains for them yep. to be this red. Yep. Oh, the hills are red. I guess you come around that turn. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. Pretty cool. It's been a constant climb, hey? Yep. Well, I was right. The side we came up on. I yep. See it. Man, you can watch the road go up the mountain. Look. Yep. And right up top in front of us. So does this feel a little nicer with this uh, guard along here? Yes. <laughs> it's just that little bit of, uh, you know, it takes away the whole piece of some of those other roads we're on where, you know, in the corner of your mind, you're going, geez, if I go over that edge, I'm gone. Like, it's hundreds of feet before you ever stop, right? Wow, we've climbed a long ways in a very short amount of time. Want to stop? Yeah. Right here. I'm not going on the gravel. Wow. Crazy.
Bighorn National Forest. What's that? This must be Bighorn Pass. I have no idea. There's some cool rock formations up here. I think I might actually say I like this pass more than Beertooth. Yeah, it's a little easier, hey? Well, prettier. it's green. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, Beertooth's pretty cool. You know, seeing the rock work and stuff like that, and I mean, there's still lots of snow and stuff up there. I mean, even now at the hell are we halfway through July? Well, today is the 24th, the 25th. Tink. I think it's the 24th, maybe. I can't remember. And it's so funny, you go on vacation or take holidays or whatever you want to call it, and uh, you lose track of the day so quick. I know it's day seven in our itinerary. It is, we're halfway, <laughs> halfway through our trip. And it's been fun, it's been exciting, it's been scary at times, yep. it's been trying. It has, yep. It's I'm even tested. doing it with you, though, baby. Uh huh. It's even tested our patience with each other. Yep. Which usually isn't an issue with us. So that was an interesting thing to happen. It's been good. It's been fun. It has. Oh, plugger. Quite the experience. Sorry. It has been quite the experience. So it far. has. I got a bug that decided it wanted to end its life in the middle of my visor. That's one thing I've noticed that since we since we've been in the states, the bugs have been a lot less. Yeah, they have. Like, consider how often you and I have to clean. Well, especially me, anyway, have to clean my visor while I'm riding. I mean, down here, it's, it hasn't been anything even close to that. Yeah, this pass is definitely nothing near as aggressive or um, as challenging as Beartooth. But really the scenery cool. is really nice, eh? Yeah, it's gorgeous. So 15 Ks to our turn. Okay. Is that a left or a right? Left. Okay. Right. Correct. Left, right, right, left. Now I'm confused. You have the GPS, so I hope you're not confused. I'm kidding. I know. So am I. Oh, you're trying to be funny again. Yeah. Ah, I get it now. I do that every once in a while. At least I think I'm funny. If nothing else, I think you're pretty. Ah, uh, maybe. So we finally got a night in the hotel, as opposed to in the cabin we stayed at. The cabin was kind of cool, hey? Yeah, it was. I liked the cabin. And then we had two nights in the tent. Yep. And the, the tent was fine. All our gear was good. But it was cold. I mean, overnight temperatures dropped down for you Americans. Uh, Low 40s, high 30s, for us Canadians, like oh, 8, degrees. 8, 10, yeah, 7, yeah. 8 degrees. It was chilly, overnight anyway. Got up in the morning and it was pretty brisk, but it warms up fast. It does. The sun comes up and it warms up. You need to yell at me. As soon as that sun comes up, she warms up fast. It does indeed. So now we're on day seven. Uh, end destination today is Gillette. I think we're maybe about halfway there. Possibly. Maybe not quite half. We decided on the fly to make a few changes to our itinerary. 
Uh, destinations are still the same, but uh, in a couple of spots we decided to shorten the ride a bit. Today we were going to go down to Graybull and Shell and cut up there. Instead we crossed, uh, we turned at Lavelle and came across. Still the same pass, uh, with a minor exception there. This one is actually about a half an hour quicker than going the other way. And then Beartooth, we were going to do Cody and run into Cody and then come up uh, Chief Joseph and then come up across Beartooth. And we'd had some pretty full days up till then, so we decided let's just uh, go north and cut across Beartooth, which is what we did. So we cut probably a couple hours out of our trip by doing it that way. And yesterday was good. We we got into Red Lodge and got our room. Room was okay. The uh, went for a swim last night and hopped in the hot tub. The hot tub was uh, was definitely welcome, hey baby. After all the riding. Yeah, the hot tub was fantastic. So was the foot rub. <laughs> You're very welcome. So we also went downtown and did a little bit of exploring, but let's face it, Monday night, downtown Red Lodge wasn't the most exciting place to be. But the candy store was open and that was amazing. That candy store was amazing. What did you find in the candy store? I found a 1923 Triumph that still runs. They still ride the bike. That's oh my cool. god, it's quite the thing. I can't believe how much candy is in there. I've been in quite a few candy stores in my time. This is the biggest, coolest candy store ever. There's all sorts of stuff. This guy has so much memorabilia and antiques and you name it. There's old whiskey bottles, there's old rifles, there's old motorcycles, there's even an old Harley in there, there's an old scooter that I have no idea what it is or how old it is, but it's kind of neat. There's World War, probably one and two memorabilia in there, there's, you name it, it's probably there. The section of uh, taffy alone was, oh my god, how many flavors of taffy did they have? A lot. Like, I, I couldn't even fathom to guess. There must have been maybe 40, 50 different flavors of taffy. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I would have guessed. It's pretty cool, though, because we were walking by outside, and we smelled the candy. It's like it drifted out. And it brought back a whole lot of childhood memories. Uh, found some fun dips for going to bring home for the boys. That used to be my favorite. Yeah, I remember the fun dip. We used to love those as a kid. Because I just eat the stick. Yeah, and we would have got along great because I never ate the stick. I hated the damn stick. Yeah. I just ate the sugar. <laughs> Found the little bottles of uh, plastic fruit that used to have the powder in when we were kids. Yep. Uh, the ones that were there, though, had those candies inside, so that was a little bit different. Yeah, there was things in there that we hadn't seen in years. That was pretty cool. We did pick up some huckleberry gummy bears, so we're going to try those and see what we think of those. Yeah, that's one thing we learned about Montana. Huckleberry is, that stuff's everywhere. So, the last time we were down to Waterton uh, and popped into Going to the Sun, we picked up a bottle of uh, huckleberry syrup for like, like pancake syrup and of course that's gone uh, our kids seem to really enjoy it because we do pancake days at the house and they come over and we just do a, a Sunday or Saturday breakfast kind of thing and yeah it's a pile of fun so we we did pick up another bottle of huckleberry syrup
So, what you think of lunch? Lunch was really good. Highly recommend if anyone is in Sheridan, Wyoming, stop at Kim's Family Restaurant for a buffet. Wow, you almost sounded like a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was quite good, man. I mean, we just stopped there by a fluke. It really was. Just happened to be one of the first places we saw coming in, and yeah, the food was quite good. Quite good. It's a small town restaurant, yeah? Family owned restaurant? Is that how you'd describe it? Yep. But yeah, I mean, it was reasonable for price. I mean, for. Well, we just had water and a buffet, and it was like seven bucks a person. It was uh, American and Korean. So all in all, quite tasty. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Me too. Fantastic. Well, it's just pretty overcast today. Temperatures are, well, Canadian terms, low twenties. And it looks like we just might find some rain along the way. Speaking of rain. Yep. Oh, you can smell it. Yep. Well, we'll give it a few miles and see if this rain subsides. And if it does, great, we'll keep going. If it doesn't, I think we should pull in and put on some rain gear. I agree. Well, I don't know, darling, if this is going to let up. Over hot. Hot. Let's see if we can find a spot somewhere along here to pull in. Hey. Right here. There's lots of sand though, so just be aware. 